One of the themes of the opening ceremony was breaking barriers. Hungarian coach Josef Naj is doing just that when he coaches American Mike Berroman and Hungarians Josef and Peter Zabo, all of whom were entered in today's 200-meter breaststroke. Mike Leonard spent some time with the man who has taught them an alternative form of the breaststroke called the Hungarian Wave. Happily for Josef Naj, the American and the Hungarian are now on the same wavelength, pooling their efforts for a coach whose innovative style was once thought to be what, crazy? Yes. This story began eight years ago when Joseph Naj, an assistant coach in Hungary, first developed his theory that a breaststroker's body could move through the water faster if it followed the curved motion of a sound wave. Initial results were encouraging, but then Mr. Naj's wife took a job with the International Monetary Fund, and three years ago the family moved to Washington, D.C. There, the Hungarian wave rushed up against a local boy named Mike Barrowman. Nobody understood him, first of all. Nobody wanted to really take the time to, to understand, you know, whereas I, I needed a change. So he put up with the language barrier, the difficult subtleties of this new stroke, and the torturous workouts for this, the shock of setting an American record at the Olympic trials. Mike. Was a little bit too early. Here in Seoul, preparing for the biggest race of his life, 19-year-old Mike Barrowman has yet another adjustment to make. How to share the pool and his coach with his main competitors, those Hungarian swimmers who also feel that Joseph Naj is the key to victory. Nothing problem. Says this freelance coach of two countries. He doesn't care who it is, he wants his swimmer to be the best, and he doesn't care who it is as long as it's his swimmer and his friend that's the best. Which of course leads to the obvious question. Who does the teacher cheer for now that it's time for the students to test each other? Who knows? <laughs> but Mr. Nodge, both of them can't win. No, I can. I can. Mike Leonard for NBC Sports. Now, Di diplomat and coach. Yes, Absolutely. Yes. Now, the, it's interesting. The actual description of, of the Hungarian wave is quite unusual. They say you form your body into the shape of an S, which is interesting in itself, and then swim like a <laughs> leopard or a snake. The, the, the movement is like arch and blast, arch and blast. You would make a great coach. Because I just feel like I could jump right into a pool and do okay. that. Absolutely, I, I really, absolutely. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, you won't be getting your chance in the race that's coming up next, thank goodness. <laughs> we'll be back with the men's 200-meter breaststroke right after these messages. Stay with us. This NBC Sports presentation of the Games of the 24th Olympiad is brought to you by... The swimming continues at the Olympic Park swimming pool. We promised you the Hungarian wave, and here it is. The men's 200-meter breaststroke, Josef Zabo, the reigning world and European champion, both of which make him the favorite here. Don Cricky, John Neighbor with the call. The gold medal swims at the Olympic Park swimming pool. Next up, the men's 200-meter breaststroke final. A surprise fastest qualifier, Nick Gillingham, a very good American, is in the race. Mike Barrowman, 19 years old from Rockville, Maryland, who has the second fastest time in history in this event behind the world record of Victor Davis of Canada that was set at the Los Angeles Olympics in 1984. And a couple of very good Hungarian candidates, including Peter Zabo, 20 years old from Budapest, and Joseph Zabo from Budapest, who is 19 years old. And the interesting thing, Barrowman of the USA, Zabos of Hungary, all trained together under the same coach. For more on that, here's Armin Katayan. Thanks, Don. This has to be one of the more bizarre coaching stories of the Olympics. As you alluded to, Joseph Naj of Hungary coaches both Peter Zabo and Joseph Zabo of that country, along with the American Mike Barrowman. The interesting thing is they're not coached individually, they're coached collectively. They're in the pool together, they're training together, they're working out together. They even talk together on the pool. So you wonder where the secrets are between these three guys. Barrowman is a er very interesting case. He's very fragile emotionally. He's indelibly tied to Naj. I asked Naj about that, and he said that he wasn't sure how Barrowman was going to do tonight. At one point in time, there was a situation where Naj may not have been able to be on the deck here. I asked Mike about that. He said he frankly didn't feel he could win without Naj. Naj is here. He's, he's going to be in the stands. Before he went up there, I asked him, I said, who do you think is going to win this race? He just smiled at me and said, 
he didn't really know. He didn't want to say. So I guess we're going to have to wait like everyone else. Thanks, Armin. That is Joseph Naj. He lives in the United States now near Washington, D.C. His wife has been assigned there by the Hungarian government. A very unusual coaching story, as Armin pointed out. Mike Barrowman of the USA has been to the Hungary to train there for a couple months at a time in the summer. Barrowman's father works at the Pentagon. So it's a piece of foreign intrigue, and a lot of good swimmers have come out of it. No question. In fact, Barrowman's second fastest time in history, the first fastest, was set by a Canadian who did not qualify in this event at the recent Canadian trials. So he's the class of the field, yet he still feels inadequate knowing that the two Hungarians are coached, were the first ones coached by Joseph Nod. Peter Zabo in lane one, who has no relation to the other Zabo from Hungary swimming in the race, incidentally. John Cleveland of Canada is in lane two. Barrowman from the USA in lane three. Nick Gillingham of Great Britain was the fastest qualifier. There's the world record time set four years ago at Los Angeles by Victor Davis of Canada. And the Olympic record time, one of the same. Barrowman, who set that American mark in qualifying at Austin, Texas in August. The Olympic trials here, and there's Mike Barrowman. He's in lane three. Gillingham was the fastest qualifier. He swims in lane four for Great Britain. Joseph Zabo, Valerie Lozek of the Soviet Union, Sergio Lopez of Spain, and Verim Alexiev of the Soviet Union is at the bottom of your screen, swimming in lane eight. No, Don, not only is it a coincidence that the three characters in the race are all trained by the same guy, they all have a distinctive stroke. It's either called the rollover stroke, or some people call it the Hungarian wave, where the swimmers, when they pull their arms together, raise their hands close to the water's surface on the recovery, almost coming out of the water, swimming over an imaginary ball of water. They roll over, always swimming downhill on the entry. We can watch it. 200 meters, four lengths of the pool. First stop's a good one. This is the first final swim ever for in the Olympics for Mike Barrowman. and this is the only event he's in, the 200-meter breaststroke. Barrowman three down from the top. Swimming well in the white cap with the American flag. And now coming out quickly in lane six near the bottom is Valery Lozik of the Soviet Union, a 20-year-old. Mike Barrowman up near the top. Barrowman in lane three, three down from the top, swimming off the lead. It's four lengths of the pool as they come to the first turn. And they're faster, John, than a world record split. That's been the story of these games here. The, Olymp the Olympic champion David Wilkie told me that Nick Gillingham from Great Britain is a real candidate. We ought to watch him. He's got a good back half of the race, and he is a top qualifier. Valerie Lozik of the Soviet Union swimming in lane six. Three up from the bottom is swimming in the lead as they conclude the first half of the race. The airman of the USA in lane three swimming off, but he always does swim off. And there is Joseph Naj, the Hungarian who coaches three of the swimmers in the race, including Behrman of the USA and the two Hungarian entrants. Soviets touched first and second at the halfway point. They're now slower, John, than a world record split at the halfway point. Lozik going out very strong. He won both the 100-meter and 200-meter breaststrokes at the USSR National Championships. Joseph Zabo looks like he's really making a push on this third 50. You can see the acceleration. Burnley in second, but look at the way his hands are coming out of the water on that recovery. A rapid turnover is going to help him in this race. Mike Barrowman's going to do it. He's got to do it now as they make the turn for home. The final 50 meters coming up. And the gold medal swim in the men's 200-meter breaststroke. Joseph Zabo, a 19-year-old from Budapest, Hungary, the top 200-meter breaststroker in the world the last two years, is now coming on very hard in the middle of the pool. Zabo in lane five. Look at that breaststroke. Look at those arms come out. That will become the standard of the stroke in years to come. Here comes Nick Gillingham from Great Britain challenging. It's going to be Joseph Zabo of Hungary and Gillingham from Great Britain. They can't catch Zabo. Joseph Zabo takes it to the wall. Gillingham will get the silver. And the third place finisher is Lopez coming from off the pace to conclude with a very strong 10 meter swim at the end. Sergio Lopez wins bronze. Uh, you know, bets covered did Coach Joseph Naj. He almost certainly gets somebody in the medal count. He got the gold medal winner. America's Mike Berman came on a charge at the end, but only got fourth place. Take a look once again towards the end of this race. Joseph Zabo in the lead. Next to him, Gillingham from Great Britain. Mike Berman way back in fourth place. Look at the stroke. Look at the recovery. The hands coming out of the water. Boom, right there. Boom, out of the water it comes. He's swimming downhill when he enters the water and his hands go forward. It requires an extremely powerful kick to make this stroke work. 
and work it did for a gold medal. Joseph Zabo watching not one, not two, but three of his protégés in the water at the same time. And the, the sweet <laughs> victory of the first place is taken away by the fact that neither of the other two ah, won medals. Ah, he's breathing like he's in the water. Joseph, now nah, that's the coach. That's an anguished life up there when you... So he had the first and last place finishers in the race. Both Zabo. Joseph was first for the gold. Peter was last for nothing. Gillingham gets silver. Lopez gets bronze. Barrowman of the USA finished fourth. This is Don Quickie with John Maybrin Olympic Swimming. <laughs>